And there's one last topic I just want to quickly bring on, and then we'll we'll go to our, our kind of final simple rules uh, to help everybody. But one of the things that McKinsey talked about, and you guys kind of made a, a joking comment of, was exhaustion and how that plays into the process. Uh, and that's relatively new. So everything's before except for exhaustion. And I think we're seeing that in the pandemic right now, uh, where they just, you said, Larry, 200 days in and, and people are exhausted. And so it's hard to keep motivating them to deal with the crisis. So how does that change things or does it change things? Yeah, I, I believe it changes everything. Uh, because with exhaustion, um, you'll no longer be alert to the way you were before. Uh, you'll get more used to the fact that uh, things are okay or not okay. Uh, your judgment will increasingly get poor. Um, I think exhaustion is what will lead to an increased number of uh, COVID infections. And uh, I think it'll lead to uh, increased errors in decision making uh, unless you start really addressing this problem head on, which we are not doing at this point. I think it's a very serious problem. And, and, and in fact, you know, I would go so far as to say, Larry, uh, right now we're acknowledging and recording organizational exhaust, exhaustion. Uh, and I think organizational exhaustion is typically present when we try to operation or uh, when we try to optimize existing models. We just don't acknowledge it then. But in times of extreme uncertainty, as the uncertainty level extends and goes up, we, we then begin to record the things that hurt all the time. So this is a very serious issue that I think McKinsey raises in the article. And, and in fact, I would, I would argue that if we don't build thinking time, if we don't build team time, into our models, you know. Think if you're a, a national football team uh, and you're and you're in a game and you're going back and forth, up and down the field for four quarters, uh, but you don't stop and huddle and call a play. You just you just run right up to the line of scrimmage and you go. Well, it's stream exhaustion. In organizations, do we take the time to stop, pause, and say, "Oh my gosh, the defense changed"? If I'm on offense, can you believe that Larry did this new thing? Well, then we've got to do something different. What might we do? Well, those individuals coming together, we got to huddle more. We've got to check in, ask each other how we're feeling more. We've got to make sure that we're still aligned and know where we're going together. And do we have the right players on the field? And we know from sports, and sometimes we don't model an organizational life, from time to time, you got to bring new players in. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Mar Marty Seligman talked about uh, learned helplessness. Uh, this is a learned exhaustion. Uh, yeah. This is something it, else. Exactly. Know? It is learned exhaustion. Yeah. yeah. Uh, can I just plug in this very quickly, please? Okay, John. Look, uh, I think that, uh, and I was checking all my books and management. <laughs> One thing that they're <clears throat> teaching you is control, right? Control. The important thing is this, that when you're dealing with complex evolving system, control means something else. And I have to read this passage quickly. Control is about maintaining the coherence or stability of the system rather than just meeting prescribed objectives. 